Let's see. How's about? Can you give us your Hawaii roots? My Hawaiian roots um, stem from my dad. Oh no 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 no! My Hawaiian roots stem from my uh, my great grandparents. They are original. Uh, they are original uh, cane workers from Kohoku, and uh, they live in the Holo homestead. So uh, my dad was from the from the homestead, Holo homestead, and uh, he would have been third generation. After my mom and my dad left, I would spend six months in Hawaii with my dad and six months with my mom because of the court order. So I'd go out there you know, during the. The winter of California, I'd go to the winter in Hawaii because it was better for me. So when I was there, I'd, I I used to uh, I used to go to Kohoku, which was elementary, junior high, and high school all mixed together. So that's where my roots stem from, from my father. And do you still get back often, or try to get back often? The last time I was back in the islands was uh, my cousin passed away but that was I was over there for a funeral but um, besides that I mean I used to go when I was younger I'd go at least every other month you know just to go and see what was going on you know mm -hmm. I had a lot of good friends Grand Fukuda was out there the Royal uh, Royal Hawaiian pool pool service um, and then all the guys on the North Shore that I knew um, Derek Dorner Bill Barnfield, Kalori Bloomfield, um, Liam and Garrett McNamara. I used to surf with all those guys, you know, when, when I, you know, I was um, James Labrador. All those guys I used to surf with when I was coming back and forth. So. Nice. And were you getting into bikes back then already? Also, or? I was more. I was more. I was. My dad. Well, this is what happened when my dad was living here before I was even born. He was racing flat flat track in Ascot in Gardena. He went, he came, when he, he left Hawaii, he came to um, the South Bay of um, like uh, Hermosa area. And um, he was staying with a guy named uh, Masepa Tanawai. Um, and at the time he was uh, racing flat track. He was actually shaping surfboards for a guy named Greg Knoll. And during the winter years in California, there was no wetsuits. So the, the last quarter part of the shop, of the surfboard manufacturing shop, my dad made into a motorcycle repair shop and he was racing Ascot. And he was known as the Flying Hawaiian. And um, it, got, it, got, um, it got crazy because nobody knew, knew, really knew what a Hawaiian was. So they, would use, they used to yell racial slurs at him, you know? You know, like they thought he was he black. Out, yeah. yeah, you know, and because he's a dark Hawaiian, and he didn't know he'd wave back. Yeah. You know, and, and he was actually the probably one of the first or the first ethnic rider ever allowed to race Ascot in Gardena, and that was back in '59, '60. You know, '58, around that. I, I don't know exact year, but it was sure. early, early Ascot, and he made a name with himself with some real famous racers, Dwayne Keeter. Uh, Dicky Man, Sweet Savage, uh, Fast Eddie Wirt. I mean, those guys all respect him and dad. And then, and then all the Hawaiians would come. At the time, they were all coming to El Camino College. So they all used to go watch him race. But they weren't there to the race. They were to get drunk and beat somebody up. Yeah. So, you know, they finally they told my dad, you know, it's okay, you know. They would, they would go and watch my dad race. They'd go, okay, cool, we'll let you race. But your Hawaiian crew has to stay at home because they were just going. Trouble. Yeah, they were just trouble. They go to the infield and just. <laughs> and it was it was there was a ton of them. They're all coming from 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 Hawaii to the mainland to go to El Camino College, and they all used to live in a two bedroom apartment. It was called Hawaiian Village, and that's how it all started. Nice. As far as the first, I can't say the first Hawaiians, but some of the real old school Hawaiians. Laying down the roots in Gardena yeah, and all that, yeah, right? Yeah, in the, har the harbor area. Nice. Um, the guys' names were like uh, Boogie Kalama, Bla James, Blue Makua, um, the Patterson brothers, Ronald Raymond and Robert Patterson. And then Masepa Tanawai was the first Samoan to really live in the, in the harbor area, to go come from, from Hawaii. Nice. And uh, that's, that they all were living together. And it was just, after that it was just- Just own the place, huh? Yeah, the stance, Kavika and uh, 
Kavika and Gaylord stand. So all those guys were living there.